Welcome back, my lovely listeners. Hope you are all doing amazingly today. Today's story is, I'm a cryptozoologist. I think I've discovered a new species of cryptid by the wonderful Iskander Khan, a.k.a. Sam Writing. Probably should have said that the other way around. Sam is a fantastic author. Sam wrote the uh, Hidden Layer of Netflix story and the My Favorite Streamer story that I've had on this channel. And this is a third one of theirs that I'm going to narrate. Down in the description, you'll find a link to Sam's subreddit, as well as a link to an Amazon page where you can get their horror anthology. It is a collection of short, scary stories that they've written. And Sam is a fantastic author. Absolutely support this person, please. So if you if you like this story and you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give Sam some love and subscribe for more content like this. Enjoy. I've had an interest in cryptozoology for many years now. From Bigfoot to the Loch Ness Monster, the subject of cryptids has captured my imagination, and I subsequently dedicated my life to proving their existence. Recently, I went on a trip to Wales in the UK in search of what is known as the Avonk, a lake monster of Welsh mythology reported to be a kind of crocodile-beaver hybrid. It's said to prey upon anyone foolish enough to fall into or swim in its waters. Bemused but friendly locals directed me to Lanier Avonk, a lake near the village Batus y Coed that was named after the creature. There I stood, for over an hour, in miserable, damp conditions. But I saw nothing. Not a single ripple or bubble on the lake's surface to indicate anything larger than a trout called at home. As a memento, I decided to take a photograph of the lake. Even if I came away empty-handed, the approaching autumn gave the scene a distinctly eerie appearance. Skeletal tree limbs and a pervading sense of rot would certainly make an excellent visual for a blog update. But upon studying the picture a little more intently, I saw a black shape on the distant lake's edge. It was thin and tall, the figure of a man. When I looked up, the man was still there, standing statue still on the other side of the water. I raised a hand to wave at him, but he didn't move. He seemed to be wearing thick, black clothing, his face obscured by a black woolen scarf, and he didn't make a sound. When I turned to leave, figuring I'd intruded in his favorite fishing spot, he began to crouch. At first, it looked like he was slowly kneeling down to pick something up. A fishing rod, perhaps? Or, God forbid, a weapon? Instead. I watched in utter confusion as the man seemed to arc his back before using all four limbs to race through the trees behind him. I was awestruck, struggling to comprehend what I had just seen. I immediately took the picture into the nearby village to ask residents if they had any ideas. The patrons of a local pub laughed when I told them what I had seen, but they didn't laugh when they saw the photographs. They grew quiet before then telling me that I needed to leave. The entire train ride back to my home city, I couldn't take my mind off of what I'd witnessed. Using the train's Wi-Fi, I posted the picture to numerous cryptozoology websites and forums, unable to contain my excitement once several users confirmed that they'd never seen or heard of anything like it. Another user posted something morbidly fascinating concerning three missing children that had disappeared while playing near that lake, stating that it was possible this newly discovered creature could be responsible. The same user joked that he hoped the thing didn't see me photographing it, but I didn't find that comment particularly amusing. I spent the remainder of the day researching what I had seen, but I could find nothing. Nowhere was there any mention of a black shape that ran on all fours. I stayed at my computer late into the evening. Long after sunset, my dog began to bark. I could hear her scratching at the front door with her paws yelping wild. When I went downstairs, I found that she'd urinated on the carpet, something entirely out of character for her. Once I'd cleaned it up, she refused to sleep in her doggy bed downstairs, insisting on sleeping at the foot of my bed. Call it a hunch, but I called an anonymous tip to the North Wales police, telling them to search near Lynn Yeravonk for the missing children. If nothing came of it, then fine. But something did come of it. The next morning I woke up to the news that an anonymous tip my anonymous tip, 
had led police to a discovery of human remains in the woods near the lake. Police later held a press conference, in which the bones were confirmed to be those of a child. That night, my dog began to make those same terrified yelping noises. Again, she peed on the rug, something I thought I'd trained out of her years ago. However, it's not unusual for a dog to urinate uncontrollably when it detects a large predator in the area, which would explain what I saw when I opened the door and peered outside into the dark, rainy night. On the doorstep beneath me was a single tuft of thick, spidery black hair. I think I've found a new type of cryptid no sleep, only I think it's gone and found me, too. That was, once again, an amazing tale by Sam Writing. Sam Writing is an amazing horror author, definitely knows what they're doing. And down in the description, you'll find a link to a certain book that they have written that is an anthology of their horror stories, and you should definitely check it out. Also, you'll find a link to their subreddit, and you should probably go there as well, because that's where a lot of their stuff gets written. <laughs> You'll also find links to my subreddit and my Twitter and my Facebook and a page where you can submit a story to me so I can read it from my channel. And if you like this story, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Be one of the 20 goals that I've set. I don't know why I'm setting goals all of a sudden, but whatever. Anyway, be one of the 20 of the likes that I want to get and I'm goaling setting a goal for. Why can I not talk today? This happened on the last Sam writing video too. Sam, your stories leave me tongue tied. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and sleep well.